the forehead of your robot. We all know Paul McCartney, the beloved member of the Beatles. In some circles, it is believed that he actually died in a car accident in 1966, and was replaced by look and sound alike in order to spare the public from the grief of losing such a cherished idol. It was feared that his death would cause devastation, even mass suicides, among his fans. Another common, more logical belief, is that this was simply a rumor that the band played into to gain publicity. According to the theory, Paul drove off in his car, an Austin Healy, after an argument with the band during a recording session. It is said that he crashed his car and died. He was supposedly replaced by a lookalike, who has been rumored to be William Campbell, the winner of a Paul McCartney lookalike contest. The man may have looked like Paul, but how would he manage to imitate his distinct musical styles? Some believe he was very strictly and professionally trained to sound just like him. As the rumors spread, fans began to notice various clues hidden in songs and album artwork. A well-known clue is that the words spoken by John Lennon in the song, Strawberry Fields Forever, are, I Buried Paul. The famous Abbey Road album cover has also been interpreted as a funeral procession. John is dressed in white to symbolize the preacher or religious figure, Ringo is dressed in black to symbolize the mourner, or mortician, Paul Bearer. There are various interpretations, George is dressed in denim to symbolize the grave digger, and Paul is barefoot and out of step with the rest of the band, symbolizing the deceased. There are various other clues hidden in the Abbey Road artwork, including a license plate on a Volkswagen that reads, 28 IF, supposedly indicating that Paul would be 28 if he had survived the crash. Paul would have actually been 27, which could tie into a completely different elaborate conspiracy, but he would have been in his 28th year of existence, which by Indian belief, would make him 28, since they count the time spent as a fetus part of one's life. On the back cover of Abbey Road, there is a girl in a blue dress. Apparently, if you hold the album away from you and look at her elbow, there is a hidden profile of Paul. It is believed by followers of the conspiracy that this album's artwork was staged. The cover of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band also bears some clues to the conspiracy. The wax dummies of George, Ringo, and Paul are looking at a grave. There are yellow flowers shaped like a guitar. From a distance, it is believed that the flowers spell out Paul. There is also supposedly a doll in a green dress watching a toy car crash. On the back cover, Paul's back is turned to the camera. Also on the back, George is pointing at the lyrics, Wednesday morning at 5 o'clock, which is the rumored time of Paul's death. In the song Glass Onion, the lyrics include, Here's another clue for you all, the walrus was Paul. This pertains to a Norse belief that the walrus was a sign of death. Revolution 9, supposedly contains a hidden subliminal message. When played backwards, the words were There are countless clues to this conspiracy, to share them all would take days. I encourage you to research the theory and come to your own conclusions. It is quite interesting, whether you believe the theory or not, I have my own opinion, though I will not state it to keep this unbiased. I'll leave you with some lyrics for thought. Bye.